Hi, it's Johnny here. And I got a great response to that email I sent out um, where the subject said, what do you want from me? So um, a lot of people came back, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, email marketing. And a lot of people came back with um, some advice that they were looking for on video marketing. So I thought I'd put together this little video. So video marketing, where do we start? Well, ideally you get in front of the camera. It's not easy. I've been practicing for a while. Um, I've been told I've got a better face for radio than TV. But anyway, here I am. And um, yeah, that's that's ideally what you need to do. You need to get in front of camera and just share your knowledge, experience, your expertise, your tips, your advice around what you sell, be it product, service, whatever it is. We all have additional advice based on our experience that we can share with people. And the best way to do that is to get in front of camera. We do talk about the buying process is no like and trust. So nothing expedites the trust factor quicker online and online marketing than video. So I'm using um, my iPhone. It's sitting on a tripod here that I spent 20 euros on on Amazon. Um, I've got another little microphone connected up here just to make sure that the audio is clear and I can send some images of that. But I'll do another video without the microphone plugged in directly to the iPhone and just see it's not that bad either. It might be a little bit more echoey. So the what I'm suggesting here is to practice on front of your phone, your smartphone if you have one, or borrow one or, or buy a camera if necessary and get out there and start recording both yourself in front of camera, but also the products and services that you provide. Get some videos out there about those. It might be how-to videos. It might be you talking, as I say, about advice and experience and expertise. And then get that video up on YouTube, tag it with the keywords, and also put it up on Facebook. Facebook has a big focus on the moment at video. They autoplay when somebody scrolls by or scrolls onto a video on Facebook, they autoplay. And also, um, videos that you upload directly to Facebook, as I've mentioned before in previous videos, are four times bigger in terms of display size on a Facebook timeline than if you simply put up a link to YouTube. So upload to YouTube for search engine optimization and helping you to be found in Google, but also upload directly to your Facebook business page. Okay, and then you really need to consider or should consider doing a Facebook ad. And there's a particular ad for promoting videos. I ran one last week and I was getting for two cents, I was getting a video view. I got 936 plus uh, video views on a video that I put up for approximately 13 euro. So that's the key to you. One of the keys, at least, to video marketing is actually spending a few euro promoting the video once you put it up on Facebook if you're using Facebook and if your audience is there. Of course, we've mentioned YouTube. You've got to get it up on YouTube and tag it with the keywords that you want to be found. And then tweet about it if you use Twitter. Tweet about the video the word, and put the word video in block capitals and the square brackets around it and start it with video and then mention what's in it and a link off to the video. It's proven to be um, a very, very popular clicked on link when people see the word video in tweets. So it's important to put video there as well. It's important to put video up before the description of the link everywhere you share it so people know that there's a video. Videos are quite popular online because people know that they can see and hear you and see and hear the video obviously but learn an awful lot more or get a lot more information an awful lot quicker than them having to read lots of information. So get your videos up there as I say Facebook, YouTube, embed them on your blog from YouTube if you have a blog and tweet about them and share them on LinkedIn. Finally, I would say, you know, as you make up um, and, and collect and create a number of videos, you can separate out the audio and make the audio available for people, particularly if it's expertise and knowledge and training and coaching. You can separate the audio from the video and make the audio available for people to download. You could indeed send the audio away to get typed up and it comes back as an ebook. And then the ebook can be put on your website as a what we call a lead magnet in exchange for people's email addresses. So there's a number of great things that you can do with the audio. Um, that you take from the video. You can get the audio um, typed up as well, not just for an ebook, but a series of blog posts or, a, or even a single blog post. 
Um, so there's a number of things you can do with video and it all starts with practice. It all starts with booting up that phone, getting it on a nice steady couple of books or ideally a, a tripod, um, a clear microphone or you can use the headphones that comes with your smartphone. Um, some people leave them in their ears and then the microphones hang in here and some people take the earphones and just hold them out of frame in front of them. I used to do that as well and it's crystal clear audio the other thing is you'll notice that sometimes i'm checking if i'm in frame so you'll see my eyes move over and then back so you need to focus ideally on the little lens of the camera and you know deliver your message as confidently and as comfortably and as um you know as natural as you possibly can and that only comes with practice okay so i hope you find this video useful Please share any comments, feedback or further questions that you might have. And I look forward to sending you some other useful content around video marketing and digital marketing.